Grace and peace to you, and welcome to Trusting God at All Times, the daily devotion of Peakland United Methodist Church here in Lynchburg, Virginia. I'm Rev. Joe Kalis, the pastor here. As I said last time, last week Peakland hosted Vacation Bible School. We had three sessions in the evening and then a session Sunday morning at the 945 worship. As part of the Sunday worship service, we had printed on the bulletin a picture of a cross made up of a variety of words. Some of the words were positive, like kindness, justice, light, shine. Some of the words were negative, bitter, hateful, fear, abuse. Folks were then to block out the negative words with a pencil, leaving the positive words to shine forth. We could also block out part of a word, transforming the word from negative to positive. With the word faithless, we block out the last four letters and faithless becomes faith. With injustice, we block out the first two letters and make justice. From negative comes forth positive. From the darkness, light breaks forth. Some of the words were tricky for me. Were they positive or negative? At the top of the cross was the word anger. Is anger always negative? I don't think so. Angry folks, who were also faithful folks, fueled the civil rights movement in our country. In the Bible, the prophets are often angry that we are not following God's ways. It is good and right to be angry in the face of injustice and poverty and cruelty. Righteous anger brings good change. The word doubt was hanging on the cross. Is doubt always a negative word? I don't think so. When the disciple Thomas doubted the resurrection of Jesus, he gave voice to those doubts, and the Lord responded and gave Thomas what he needed to believe. Doubts and questions and uncertainties are a natural part of being an aware and an awake human being. Doubt doesn't have to be a negative if we don't let doubt stop us from seeking truth. When we have doubts, then, like Thomas, we give voice to our doubts, and then we listen to the Lord and look for God to respond. Doubt gives birth to faith. In truth, the whole story of Jesus' life and death and resurrection is that possibilities spring forth from impossible situations. Injustice becomes justice. Faith can come from faithlessness and new life comes forth from death. Thanks be to God. Every Saturday morning, Pastor Joe has a devotional just for kids. It's a wonderful way to start the day with the family. That devotional, along with all the rest of our devotionals, is available from 7 o'clock on. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.